Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing the last video of Declutter Week. We're going to be going through all of my single eyeshadows. We will be going through all of my single individual pan shadows, all of my single individually packaged shadows, and then, I'm not dropping it, but all of my single glitters as well. I'm gonna try and be a little bit harsher here. I really don't use my singles. I've tried doing other things with them, but I just, I'm not reaching for them as often. I actually am reaching for these a little bit more, but not these. So I want to be a little bit harsh with myself and really do a good clean out here. Okay, so let's start with these. I have to say right off the bat, I really do like these green and yellow shades right up here. I think most of these are from ColourPop. And then the ones with the little Ds on them are from Davina. Yeah, so ColourPop, ColourPop. I really like these shimmers, so I want to keep those. These look kind of similar. Actually, they don't swatch similar at all. <laughs> if anything, I think I'll keep these just because I really like these greens. I don't have anything similar in my palette collection. Over here, I've got these warms. All these square pans are Viseart, and I have to say, they really were not worth the money. They're not that great, and I don't use them. So I'm going to get rid of the, the square pan ones, and then we'll go through those. All right, so we have these two shimmers. Well, they're pretty similar. They're not 100% the same, but they're similar enough that I don't think I need both. So I'm going to keep this one. What is this? This is the shade Crush from Luxie Beauty. We'll keep that one. And then we're going to ooh, declutter this one, which is Glass Bowl from ColourPop. And then this is uh, just a neutral kind of lid shade from ColourPop. I'll keep that because I could probably pan that fairly easily if I use the singles. So we've got everything we're going to keep. We'll put right here. All right. So going through these, I do like these blues. This one completely broke on me. <laughs> it's a little fragile. And I think I have a shade like this in my ColourPop Blue Moon palette. Um, but these are really unique and I love these. These are from Davina. And then these, I believe, are ColourPop. Yeah, so the shimmers are Davina, the mattes are ColourPop, and I really like that little quad, so we're going to keep those. This, eh, it's a Davina shadow. I don't think I'm just going to declutter it. I'm not using it either. Alright, so this bright white shimmer is from ColourPop. It's now in Zen. Honestly, I've got highlighters that are basically the same thing all right so here i really love this top row of like dark mattes from i believe it's davina yes so let me pop those in and then i will be a little bit more strict when it comes to down here what is this am i using i'm not ever going to use that kind of shade what are you all right, so this is Rage from Luxie. I'm gonna declutter that. Do I need, do I have any red shimmers? I don't think I have any red shimmers in my collection, so I'm gonna keep this one. And this is One Night Stand from Luxie. Actually, I think the only other red shimmer I have is from Pat McGrath, so I'll keep that one. I might just rearrange this when it's done. Um, this orange, I've got a whole orange palette. This is Salt Water from ColourPop. We're gonna declutter that one. And then again, this one looks similar to this shade right here. Except it's got a little bit more of a gold undertone. Yeah, I don't think I need that one. So we're going to declutter that. And then this is just uh, a matte black from ColourPop. I could always use this, you know. I've got it there. So this is in my custom face palette for my Pan That palette. And I do have another uh, matte black. This is from Viseart in here. And I've just been using that in my brows daily. So I'm going to keep that one. And that's also why I'm keeping this color pop matte black. Alright, so so far everything in this black Z palette we are decluttering. And everything in this one we are going to be keeping. Alright, let's move on to these individual shadows okay first things first oh i've got a couple liners in here too but first things first i hate this elf putty eye primer um it's just not good so that's gonna get decluttered 
Um, I have two MAC paint pots. I love the paint pots, especially when you can get them on sale at Ulta. I bought these a while ago and they're only $11 each. So, keeping those. These are Crow and Pebble. These are Geek Chic. Okay, so this is a, like a loose glitter that I got in a Try Beauty box and it's pretty, but I'm not, I don't use loose glitters and it's a mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna declutter that. Next, I've got this yellow liner from Kylie. It is really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that. Next for ColourPop Super Shocks, this is one of my favorites. This is Frog. I love Frog and Sailor the most, and I've got Big Pan in this, so I'm gonna keep this. This one is one that I decluttered a while ago and then I brought back into my collection, but really I'm not using it. I don't use bright purples like this. So I'm gonna declutter this one again. All right, I'm gonna keep these Crow and Pebble ones. These are fairly recent to my collection. I got a sample baggie, so these are like little samples of shadows. Um, and then these are eye primers from Crow and Pebble. So I'm gonna keep those. All right, and then we've got these Geek Chic Cosmetics ones. So I like these two. So these are in my last Harry Potter project pan. I do love both of these shades. We're gonna keep those. Now for the Hannibal Lecter ones, I want to be a little bit more strict because like I'm I don't really reach for these as often. I think I'm gonna get rid of this like pinky one. I'm not reaching for that kind of shade, and I just panned a whole red palette, so I think I'm a little tired there. Uh this light blue is actually very pretty, so we'll keep that one. And then this one, let me swatch it. It's kind of hard to see from the container. It's a little sheer, but that is very pretty. So I'll give that one. Uh, like another shot it'll be on the chopping block but we'll see all right and then these are all the individual shadows we are left with the drawer is looking a lot nicer now <laughs> all right time to come here for all of these i got a couple of glitter liners mainly liquid shadows so let's go through these all right let's start with this natasha denona black liner duo I, i'm actually not a huge fan of the liner itself but i do like the the black glitter so i'm gonna keep that for the rest of these shadows, I should probably like double check to make sure that they're not dried out. Uh, this e.l.f. liner, like it's okay, but there are other better of like affordable options, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Let me see, this is an old Stila one. This is still... Nope, that's dried out, so... <laughs> but this is like years old at this point, so that one's gonna go. I wasn't really a huge fan. I mean, out of the other Kylie liquid shadows I've tried, this was the best, but it really isn't when compared to like Natasha or even like CoverGirl. It's not a good. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Alrighty, let's see. Let's try these liners from Urban Decay real quick. Make sure they go. Okay. Okay, they're still good. I really do like these, especially if you're doing a cut crease. Uh, not spoiler alert, but like a little fun fact. If you're not really comfortable with your cut crease ability, um, just use a glitter liner and put it where the crease is so it doesn't look as choppy or like bad. <laughs> I, I do that all the time. All right, so these Natasha's down here, these are new to my collection. Well, from a few months ago, and I love them like to death. So we're gonna keep those. And I know that those are all still good. We really need to go through the Steelers because I think the Steelers are probably mainly dried out. So let's try. Oh, that one's still good. A little crusty on the edge. <laughs> oh, that one's dried out, unfortunately. Okay, that one's gonna go. This one does also look a bit dried out. It doesn't apply as nicely as, like, the yellow one. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, no. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's see. This one. Well, that's still very juicy. Okay. Oh, that one feels a little dry as well. Oh. All right. Cover Girl. This... I have like a duplicate of one of these, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, unless I already got rid of it. Yeah, I think I finally got rid of the duplicate. Okay, so these are like my favorite like affordable options and that one's still very nice. Still very nice. Yeah, 
And that one's nice. Still good. I think these are all from like the last year, year and a half. So they should mainly still be okay. The gold is good. And so is the pumpkin. All right, and these are all of the single shadows that we are keeping. All right, hard to keep them all on screen, but all together, these are all the glitters, the single shadows that I am keeping, and then everything that got decluttered is here. And then also these unfortunately dried out Stila's. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked Declutter Week December 2020. Let me know down below if you've decluttered anything recently, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.